Seth Godin said, your brand is not your logo. And that is so incredibly true. Your brand is also not your website. I am a website designer and I'm here to tell you what I think is the most important element of branding. And I think you might be surprised. So listen till the end. Starting off, I want to explain how my business over the course of five years has changed. And that being said, my brand has not changed. So when I first created my business, I knew that I had a huge heart for other entrepreneurs, especially the newer entrepreneur. And I loved helping them uncover their branding and just being their biggest cheerleader. So combining that into like a mission statement, mine was discovering the heart of your brand and creating collateral that converts. For a while, I was a photographer. Then I went into being a social media manager. So for a social media manager, that looked like coming alongside businesses and uh, working on their Instagram, their Facebook, and building that up, gaining uh, traction for their ideal clients, um, and just portraying them in a positive light to build that no like, and trust factor so that the client would you know buy from them. That went along with that brand statement. Then I converted to being a logo designer, and now I'm a website designer, and obviously now as a website designer, my business is trying to convert those site visitors to clients. So again, it goes along with that mission statement that's never ever changed. Um, so going back to what do I think is the most important part of a brand? I think it's the copy. It's not the logo, it's not the color palette. Those are all really important things. And I have a free mood board challenge that takes you through kind of my process of how I discover the heart behind a brand and then portray that in you know, the color palette and the typography. So I'll link that below. But I don't think that's the number one most important thing. So I wanna to quickly touch on the three different parts of a brand identity. First of all, you have the brand messaging. So this is who is your ideal client? And then from there, like, what is your mission and your values? This is something that will hopefully stay consistent from the beginning of your brand to the ending of your brand. Um, then also the messaging, which can be the tone of your voice and who you serve, things like that. Next is your brand identity. So this is where we're talking about the logo, the color palette, the typography, um, and pattern designs, things like that. Um, and then finally, brand implementation. So how are you showing up online, whether that's on your website, um, in imagery? I think photos are super important and a great way to convey your brand. Um, another great thing is using your color palette in like whatever you're wearing. And then social media graphics and also just like your client relation graphics. So um, your invoice, your questionnaire, having your branding throughout that, which again, branding is your tone of voice, your color palette, all that is how you're going to really have a consistent brand and one that builds with your ideal client that know, like, and trust factor. If you are a new business owner and you want to create a website that converts, start with this. I have a Squarespace with Confidence course and it takes you through how to design a Squarespace website from start to finish. But before we have even touch on like how it's the back end of Squarespace, we go through my exact process of figuring out your ideal client, creating a brand for them, and then from there, copywriting. And like all these things are so important and that's how you're going to convert your website. So if you wanna learn more about my Squarespace with Confidence course, I will link that below. I'll also link that freebie um, mood board challenge, which kind of gives you a glimpse into my process um, and figuring out color palette, typography, inspiration, things like that. If you guys have any other questions about branding or website design, please put them below and make sure to give this the thumbs up if you found it to be helpful.